welcome back to my channel as you see from the title is i'm gonna be talking about my swan neck deformity um if you've been following me for since i started the, um my youtube video you know that i've talked about having lupus i've been having it since i was 14 years old and i've just been dealing with it basically my whole life um i'm 29 now so i'm still pretty much dealing with it the lupus is under control i must say i'm working now which is a blessing but there are some cons to it as well. Um, I've been on prednisone basically, I feel like my whole entire life and um, it's affecting my hands. Um, I have swan neck deformity. Um, this is, for me, letting you guys know this is something big for me because I'm self-conscious of it. I don't like to show people my hands. So, <clears throat> get myself together <laughs> so um i just decided to be open because i mean i'm sure people are out there dealing with other things that probably are more you know worse than my my issue but this is what i go through on the day the best is and my fingers don't your fingers don't even don't make a person no way your fingers don't make a person it's about your personality your inside and out so i'm gonna show you guys my hands and what i've been dealing with i have i have had surgery on the left hand um it's okay he, but he did a pretty good job by um far as trying to straighten them out but it's still you know it's not the best it's not normal you know get what i'm saying but um this is how they look as you see they curve and this is from being on long-term prednisone and the arthritis like my hands can't even they're not strong enough to be straight anymore and this is the hand that i had the surgery on see he was able to straighten straighten all of them this one is still pretty much a little swollen um this one didn't work out it it um it didn't straighten out as it was supposed to but i mean hey i mean it's progress um my thumbs are not straight either and i can't really tell you when this started happening i really can't say when it started happening a lot of people ask me so when did it i mean when did you start getting these effects honestly i really don't know it's like it just happened overnight to be honest um one day i was upstairs at my parents house in my room and uh my hand popped out so I called my dad. I was like, Dad, my dad, my hand, my thumb popped out of place. It hurts. It hurts. So by the time he got back back home, when he, when he got back home from the gym, I had already put it back in place. So I thought that was, you know, the end of that. But then my left hand, my left thumb popped out of place as well. And then I popped it back in. And ever since then, it just, it won't stay, you know, stay positioned, stay locked. So I'm trying, I'm dealing with, you know, trying to do surgery or if I even want to do surgery because the last surgery I had on, you know, these hands right here, this one got infected. That's why it's still a little swollen because it got infected. And my sister was like, do you really want to go through that again? And me thinking, I'm like, whoever I, you know, whoever I soon to be with, you know, future husband, whatever, boyfriend, whatever. I, I want them to accept me for me. This is what I go through. This is this is what I deal with. Um, this is the package. This is what you get. Like I said, your hands don't make a person. It's about your personality, your inside and out. So, far as that, I mean, hey, it is what it is. Um, but me, I want to start being more confident, going out, you know, and not having not worry, having to worry about it. Because, of course, you know, people are going to stare. But, I mean, that's normal. I mean, people stare at, you know, other people with different kinds of diseases or different kinds of issues. But, like I said, you guys, this is something big for me. I never, ever opened up about this. Um, many times people have been telling me, you should push your story. Tell people your story. You never know what other people are going through. And, look, somebody else might be going through something and they probably depressed or anything like that so i mean i hope this video helps somebody because look i'm telling my my truth i'm speaking my truth right now and it is what it is i'm happy in life um i got a new place um god has definitely been good um as you know you guys i got a position at the hospital and pharmacy so i'm just very much i'm honestly i am excited 
I'm happy about the future and what the future holds. Um, I'm just excited about life. I mean, hey, I have family that love me, friends that care about me as well. So, I mean, I can't just let that little thing, even though it's something big to me, I just can't let that take over my life because I have so much to offer, so much to give. So, today is the day. Today. Today on Mother's Day. I'm going to start not giving it crap. I don't care you can look at them okay that's fine that that's fine but me I have to be more confident in, in myself because I know y'all see me when I do videos y'all see my, my hands as I'm cooking I love to cook y'all I love to cook and the thing about me now how I do my videos now I, I'm not really showing my face or and, and I barely want to show my hands so when I edit my videos if you don't have not noticed, um, I try to show less of my hands as, po as possible. But starting out, I'm, I'm not going to care. I don't care because I'm loving what I do. I love to cook. That's my passion. And I just pray that my YouTube grows, grows from that because I love to cook. I love to cook everything. I mean, southern food, you, you name it, I know how to cook it. My daddy taught me well. Um... And then just try new recipes, you know, um, try new recipes that I find on YouTube. Maybe I just, you know, amped it up, get my own little twist to it. I mean, just, just different things like that. But, but like any, like, but anybody that's dealing with anything and you're just nervous about how people are going to judge you, just, just take it one day at a time. I mean, you will get there. And like I said, I'm not perfect. I, I'm not going to. Just go out there and look at my hands. You know, I ain't going to be like that, just that open. But I'm just not, I'm going to start being more confident in myself. You get what I'm saying? Because who doesn't love a confident woman, okay? Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to start being more confident in myself. And look, I give myself a pat on the back for even speaking about this. Because like I said, it's been very much, it's been very hard dealing with this. But I get through it. I know God got me. And like I said, my hands don't make you, it don't make you at all. And if anybody that's out there dealing with the same issue as me or with lupus in general, just, you know, lupus general pain, like winter times are very much hard for me because my joints start hurting like crazy and nobody understands. Sometimes nobody understands, but you just got to get through it. I mean... This is what we go through. I, I'm a tough cookie. You can ask anybody in my life. I am a strong cookie. I have been through so much. So, I'm just blessed. I'm glad I'm able to tell my story to you guys. And I hope I inspire somebody, you know. So, thanks for watching. I hope you guys tune in for my next video. And for my upcoming videos as far as my cooking. And just, you know, fun stuff, vlogs and everything like that. I just want you guys support. That's all. I want I want you guys support. I want you guys on my team. I call you guys my family for a reason. And I really take pride in what I do as far as being a YouTuber. So I really want to grow from here. You know, grow and become a great person. You know what I'm saying? So I'll keep you guys updated. I'll um, keep you guys updated on my life and see if I'm going to do the have, have the surgery or not. I'm still... It's still up in the air. I really don't know because I don't want to go through another infection no more. That infection was horrible. I mean, it was. I was in so much pain. It hurt so bad because when, when they do the surgery, they stick pins in it. They stick pin. Um, my doctor he st he sticks pins in each of them. Like it'd be like it's, it's folded like this, and the pins go in, and that's to keep it like that until it kind of heals a little bit. And then he take the pins out. Like after three weeks, and then they, you know, strain out. So, um, and then I really can't, you know, strain them out on my own. I'm still working on myself. You know, I'm still working with like a little, a little stress ball, and just opening, trying to open and close it on my own because it's still like a little pop when I open and close. It's still like a pop when I open, open my hand. So, so, but like I said, I'll get through it. I still don't want. I still don't know if I want to go through another surgery. I feel that. Like I said, accept me as I am, cause I surgery is no freaking joke at all. The recovery, 
no freaking joke. I mean, they, they numb my whole, they gave me a nerve block. So after surgery, I didn't feel anything for a whole 24 hours. But still, it's just the process because then you have to go to therapy. You got to do checkup. So it's just a lot, y'all. It's a lot. And I'm working. I'm working um, two jobs, CVS and Northside. I just, I got a lot on my plate, okay? I'm just trying to be a great person. Be great, grow. Like, I'm in my apartment now. I'm so blessed. That's a huge accomplishment for me. So, yeah, I'm just happy. So, so like I said, you guys, um, it was good talking to you guys. I hope you take what I said and, you know, use it in your daily life. Whatever you go through, just, just be confident in yourself. I know we have a lot of women out here that are not confident in their self. But, look, I'm, I'm going to be confident. I am a confident woman. I was raised to be that way. And my, my sister tell me every day that you're, you're beautiful. There's nothing wrong with you. So, uh, I'm just going to grow from here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know I'm a cry baby. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to grow from here. From, from here. Uh, it took me a while to get to this place. Like, to be confident. It took me a while. I went through a huge depression. Um, a huge, huge depression. Where I, you know, thought about suicide. <sighs> but I'm glad I made it through. I'm glad I had a good support system. My mom, my dad, and my sister. I didn't know I used to tell my sister, I don't feel that I'm pretty. I don't feel that I'm, you know, pretty. But she always used to tell me, girl, you are gorgeous. Stop saying that about yourself. So now I have learned to love myself. I've learned to love myself. I've learned to put myself out there more. Like now you can't tell me, girl. I'm, I'm real confident. And my walk, my swag, I'm like, baby, I'm here, okay? But um, I know I keep saying it. <laughs> I know I keep saying that I'm going to close this or end the live, but look, that's everything I've been through in my life, and look, look where I'm at now. So, whatever you're going through, you can you can make it. You can make it. It's nobody, no, it's nobody going to stop you but yourself. You have to want to make the change. And it's just like we're working out. People want to have the biggest butts and all that stuff. It's, it's confident. That means they're, they're not confident in their own, their natural body. So, look, to all my sisters out there or any female, all females, be confident in yourself. All men, men love a confident woman. You should love to be, you should want to be confident in yourself in general. When you walk in your walk and your stance, like, baby, I know I look good, okay? So, I'm about to go. It's Mother's Day. My uh, parent, my mom just left. My mom and my sister just left. And I'm here just chilling. I already cooked dinner. I'm not going to upload a video today. Um, this is the video I'm going to upload today. But look, just look for more upcoming videos. Follow me, y'all. Subscribe, subscribe. I would love the support. And again, until next time, it's your girl, Queen Ashley. And I'm out. Peace, y'all.